Well, hello there. Welcome to the first edition of Fast Heart Mart during the coronavirus pandemic global scare. It's been quite a week here, the Fast Heart Mart headquarters here in San Diego, California. I have to admit, some of these days were spent in a stupor, wondering if this is really happening. And after I realized it is, I had to make another plan because all my gigs were canceled until further notice, which might be years from now. I don't know because we don't know when people can gather publicly again for a long time. So I thought about it. I said to myself, what am I going to do? Well, I'm teaching banjo lessons online through Skype and Zoom and all that stuff. Um, doing some video editing. And um, I'm going to be, be doing this, uh, doing some videos to broadcast who knows where, but maybe somebody will see it, which is not much unlike most of my gigs where I just kind of show up and play and hopefully somebody tips me and uh, everything works out. So that's the way I usually live anyway. And this is a tip bucket. It's a virtual tip bucket with a, it has a Venmo code on it. I can't get around here. Anyway, this song for the first edition of Coronavirus Pandemic Global Scare with Fast Heart Mart. We're going to do a song called Keep on the Sunny Side. It's a song that I, I start out probably... 95% of my gigs I start out with this song because you can't beat this song and I don't just sing it for everybody else I actually sing it for myself you got to remind myself every day to keep on the sunny side here it goes The light. There's a bright and a sunny side too. Know you'll meet with the darkness and strife. The sunny side you also may view. Keep on the sunny side, always on the sunny side. Keep on the sunny side of life. It all helps every day, it will brighten all the way. Keep on the sunny side of life. Crushing hopes that we cherish so dear Clouds and storm and time will pass away And the sun again will shine bright and clear Keep on the sunny side, always on the sunny side Keep on the sunny side of life It all helps every day, it will brighten all the way Keep on the sunny side of life Strike. The 
sunny side you also may view Keep on the sunny side, always on the sunny side Keep on the sunny side of life It'll help us every day, it will brighten all the way For keep on the sunny side of life I'll keep on the sunny side, always on the sunny side Keep on the sunny side of life It'll help us every day, it will brighten all the way Keep on the sunny side of life If we we'll keep on the sunny side of life uh, There it is. Keep on the sunny side of life, even during a global pandemic. Um, I think we all knew something was going to happen. Something was going to have to shake up the world back into some sense, some order. Maybe this is it. I don't know. you got to try to look at the positive side of it. I am currently growing some plants now. Uh, I'm taking up gardening because I don't know when this is going to be over. So there's my, that's my new tomato plant. And I got a basil plant. I'm not sure how long that's going to last. It's supposed to be just for, you know, using as herbs in your cooking. But I'm going to try to make it into a plant. If you're an excellent gardener and you have any tips for me, please let me know. I'm not a great gardener. I'm terrible actually at it. But I do really like it. And I'm also bu I also bought a fishing pole. Because I live next to the ocean, and I saw I saw a kid the other day. He was probably in his twenties, early twenties, and he caught a fish right out of the surf. Um, I didn't think it was possible, but he caught a fish. It was probably it was at least fourteen inches long, maybe eighteen inches, something like that. It was definitely an edible fish. He had a fishing license, so he was able to do this. He said you can catch up to ten fish a day down there at the ocean. I don't even know if we're allowed to go down to the ocean right now, but I'm pretty sure. If you told them that you're trying to catch some fish out of the ocean to, f to f eat, they would probably be cool with it. I don't know. Um, yeah, so if you need any banjo lessons, let me know. Um, I'm not super traditional banjo teacher. I actually prefer students who want to learn how to sing as well as play the banjo. banjo. Um, I also um, like to teach three styles, the three style, the three main styles, which are two finger, three finger, and claw hammer, which is my predominant style these days. But I can teach any of the styles. I can also teach you guitar. Um, a lot of people think I'm a better guitar player than I am a banjo player. I just happen to make more money playing the banjo these days, so that's why I focus on the banjo. I gotta go. You know, as an artist, we have to make a living too. So the banjo is my primary instrument these days, but I can teach the the guitar. I'm also a good good bass player. I can teach bass and harmonica. Um, and if you have a drum set, eh, I could probably teach you how to play the drums too. Um, I don't currently have a drum set. I think I'm a pretty good drummer though, but I'm just a basic drummer. I'm not like super good, but I'm good enough to teach people how to play like in a band and stuff like a basic band it's not like rush or anything super complicated rest in peace neil pert and what else do i need to mention okay so yeah if you want to tip me that would be great you can tip me through venmo fast heart mart through venmo uh paypal is uh fast heart mart at gmail.com is my paypal and uh i don't know i'm just gonna do this i play three to four shows a week and i plan on putting three to four videos out a week until this pandemic has uh, either killed me or we've leveled off and I can perform in public again where people can actually tip me. Uh, yeah, that's the uh, that's the way it goes. When you put all your eggs in one basket, like some of us full-time musicians, you got to figure it out, you know? And it's it's a beautiful thing, actually. I mean... I really have a lot of respect for all those people working at the grocery stores right now and the hospitals, of course, and the emergency medical people. Um, my hat goes, my hat's off to you. It was already off, but it's coming off again. And um, to all the people that have to work through this pandemic, what um, brave souls you are. And uh, I hope you're getting paid really well, actually. I hope you're getting paid like triple. And I hope after all this stuff clears up all these imaginary number jugglers you know who i'm talking about these people who play the stock markets and just make money off of money and don't really actually have a skill they aren't really doing anything except for screwing up uh the economy when something like this happens um i don't know i don't really know much about that stuff i just think it's screwed up how 
something like this could happen and the whole economy crashes within days. Um, and uh, what else? So I think that's it for now. I'm going to try to do this again tomorrow and Sunday. And then I'll probably take Monday, Tuesday, Wednesday off, which I usually do. And then, and if the pandemic is still happening or I'm not dead, unless I'm dead, I mean, if the pandemic's still on, I'll put out some more videos next weekend. Um, so stay tuned and follow me on all your favorite sites, including YouTube, um, Spotify, Facebook, and Instagram. Have a great day, everybody. Hope you're doing well out there and seeing the beautiful side of this. I think a lot of people are at the, at the moment. I just think if this goes on for six months, that's when things are really going to get uh, crazy. I hope it doesn't go on that long. Okay, bye. Oh, sorry for screwing up the words. Uh, the last verse of Keep on the Sunny Side. I just figured I'm going to do one take with this stuff, just like I always do when I play live. You can't, you can't redo a song just because you messed up a couple words on the fourth verse or whatever. The fourth verse is the same as the first. It's... Uh, there's a dark and a troubled side to life. There's a bright and a sunny side too. Those are the words I kind of messed up the second time around. I got them right the first time though. Oh, one other thing I forgot to mention, I do have shirts for sale. This is an extra large. I have, I think I still have one of each size in the, in the black. And I also have white, just like this. Thanks to Dawn in Albuquerque for ordering her shirt. She got a small shirt. And it's on its way, Dawn. I don't know if she wants me saying her last name, so I won't. And but thank you, Don, for buying that shirt. And thanks to my my good longtime high school best friend, Josh Lubbers, for this beautiful sign that he made years ago now, uh, probably two or three years ago. I have no idea what I was gonna do with it because it weighs a ton. It probably weighs at least um, twenty five pounds, and I never take it anywhere. But it looks like it's gonna work out for this situation. So thanks for that, Josh. I do have CDs for sale. They're $12 plus shipping, which is, um, I think it's $100 for shipping right now. Just kidding. It's not that much. It's probably, it'd probably cost me $5 to ship this to you for most places. And, and don't forget, I have a book for sale. You can get it on Kindle or you can order it straight from me or off of Amazon, both Kindle and on Amazon. You can get the book, but you can also order it from me. I'll sign it for, to you. And write a special message in there for you. Um, oh, I have stickers somewhere too. They're they're two dollars each, and a couple magnets left. Maybe next tomorrow. Maybe tomorrow I'll show you the stickers and the magnets. Um, I hope this doesn't sound like an infomercial. I'm not trying to sell you stuff. I'm just trying to keep moving here. So, but if, in case you do feel like buying stuff, you can.